Hi guys, Random here. Back with a bit more World of Warships. Yes, I'm back. And I'm still a bit hurty. But I thought I'd jump on here. Um, it's, ooh, what is it? Seven minutes past two uh, on Monday. So I'm actually recording this the day you're going to get to see it. Amazing. Amazing. Um, yeah, I thought I'd jump on here. I've had a couple of games whilst I've been uh, away the last couple of weeks. Um, well, I haven't really been away. I've been here, but no, away from my PC. Put it that way. Because uh, we got a laptop and uh, the game is installed on that. So I've had a few games. Um, and I picked up the Boise. Yes, the Boise. I did not pick up the... Nuevo Julio Iglesias or whatever it is, uh, the prison ship, I picked up the Boise. Now, unfortunately, the Boise comes with a mission that gets you the other ship for free anyway. Um, yeah, so if you bought the double ship pack, I bet you're feeling a bit silly now, aren't you? Yeah, knowing you could have got it for free anyway. Um, it's an interesting ship, the Boise. Uh, now, American cruisers and I, we don't get on that well. Uh, it doesn't really suit my playstyle. But this one I seem to do okay in, which is a bit strange. Don't know why. Don't know why. Maybe it's down to the fact it's got 15 guns. <laughs> um, speaking of which, let's have a quick look. Survivability there, 33,300. Um, armor, armor, yeah, it's got some armor. Um, Citadel's kind of waterline-ish. It's, it's not bad. 16 mil plating, pretty much all around. Superstructures, 13 mil. Yeah, gun mounts. Um, if you keep them pointed towards the enemy, they're not too bad. They've got a bit of angle there as well. So, hmm, hmm. It's a cruiser. It's squishy. Uh, pretty much end of artillery wise as mentioned we have five uh, by three 152 millimeter guns now these are shoot out to 13.6 kilometers which isn't that far um no it really isn't that far at all they do do 3200 max ap they do do 2200 max he with a 12 percent fire chance and they've got a 10 second reload. They're pretty quick to turn. They're, they're, they're decent guns. They really are. But you've got that kind of floaty American shell arc. Secondaries. We've got 8 single mounted 127s. There they are. Pew pew. Firing out to 5.4 kilometers. Which isn't all that far. But if something's that close. And you're in this. You're in trouble. Um, unless you're chasing down a destroyer who's already fired his torpedoes, then eh, maybe, maybe. 1800 max HE damage, 9% fire chance, so again, decent fire chance. And that 13.6 kilometer firing range, hmm, anti-air. It's an American cruiser, it's got good anti-air. Uh, 76 base rating, which isn't bad. We've got 8 by 2 20 mils firing out 2.9 59 DPS, 6 by 2 40 mils, 5.1 kilometers, which is nice, 81 DPS. We've got 4 quad mounted 40 mils, again 5.1 kilometers, 76 DPS, and your secondaries are dual purpose, 6 kilometers, 70 DPS. So you do get a nice bit of AA there, you do, you know, you can shoot down a lot of planes in this ship. Um, maximum speed is not quick at 30 knots. It isn't quick. 690 meter turning circle isn't bad and the rudder shift of 7.3 is okay. Concealment, again not great. 10.1 kilometers, you, it's only 13.6 firing range, so Mm. Mm. as a percentage that's quite high 6.7 bo uh, by air 2 kilometer standard proximity spot and 5.6 if you fire your guns from smoke 
So let's have a look at Mr. Doe. Uh, and you'll see here preventative maintenance, adrenaline rush, BFT, AFT, and concealment expert. So that gives you a slightly better reach on your AA and your uh, reload time as well. So it's not bad. It isn't bad. Um, yeah, I, I don't know really where I want to go with this ship. I mean, something like survivability expert might be nice, possibly. Um, IFHE would be really good. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. If we have a quick look at the uh, the modules here, the upgrades I put on steering gear mod 2 for better rudder shift, AA mod 2 for better AA range, uh, damage comm mod 1 for less fire and flooding chance, and auxiliary armament mod 1 to keep that AA in the game um, when people are firing at you. We have got repair party on this ship, which is nice. It is nice. I am going to uh, stick on a repair party uh, two. Now we can have defensive AA or hydroacoustic. Hmm. This is a bit of a hmm. Because I am going into a co-op, there is a increased likelihood that I'm going to get a carrier. Um. I'm going to stick with Defensive AA Mod 1 and I'm going to take Damage Con Mod 2. Uh, we will stick those on Auto Resupply and only use credits, not doubloons. Thank you, game. Right, let's hit the button and let's see how we get on. Yeah, what do you think on this, this whole eagles and sharks thing? You see, I, I was sort of. Oh, no, look. No planes. Okay. Um, I was kind of backing the Eagles because Dasher. Mm, sorry, Elena, but Dasher. Um, and, yeah, the, the, the Eagles just kept losing. So, I've gone, well, to hell with it. I'll, I'll go with the, the Sharks. I mean, they, I don't know why Sharks are way more popular than Eagles. Maybe boat game, water, Sharks. Who knows? Um... But yeah, you know, I wonder what it's like on the American server. I wonder if the Eagles are uh, winning there. Interesting. I might have to check that out after uh, after this match. Right, I'm going to head for that island. Because I am an Americana QP boat. Thank you. So, I've got to make the most of my my ship and it is an interesting one to play this it really is you can see there look the gun turning speed is pretty good pretty good not the best not the worst you know you're not an Atlanta but then you've got 152 mil guns and they've got 127 so hmm so that's where I want to be, kind of here, behind this island, and that should give me a reasonable reach without overextending. Yep. Now you see, I reckon I'll be able to fire out to about here, which shouldn't be too bad. And it should give me a nice range of uh, targets without making myself too exposed. Now you do spend a lot of time in this shunting backwards and forwards. Yeah, there's no uncertain uh, terms about that. You, you do spend a lot of time going backwards and forwards because you want to be behind an island and you don't want to be seen you know again oh there we go I've been spotted there's the enemy Boise so I've been spotted anyway I've got my throttle all the way down and look 
that's just ridiculous, isn't it? And just get absolutely punished for getting spotted. So, I'm turning into this island as best I can. Uh, I'm now detected by a plane, but I'm not too worried about that. There we go. So we'll bring her to a, a stop, and luckily, we have a hill. So let's see, can we get to this Boise? I think we might be a little bit close to the island, but... Uh, that's okay. You know, we might be able to take a shot on this Sean Horst instead. Again, I need to watch out because I will be spotted uh, by those planes. Yeah, we've got some hits on that Sean Horst. I've got the old furry taco there. Just keeping a, an eye on him. Yep, yeah, nice. We've got a couple of fires on the old sh shiny horse. And here we go. Now I'm going to line up for AP for this. I should get another couple of shots into him before he disappears or gets sunk. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Sean Horst behind there. Let's see if we can get some shots on you, shiny horse. Yeah, not bad. We'll see if we can get some more on him. But you see, it's that standard sort of American light cruiser. Hide behind the island. Just keep shooting stuff. And we've got the old Boise coming round here. Let's see if we can lob him over the island there. Oh. Rather unsporting of you. You could have let me have some damage, but, you know, never mind. Uh, old Grash Bay. Now it's getting later in the game, and we can afford to take a few more chances. Not that we need to, because our team seems to be absolutely obliterating everything. Right, Fuso. Let's see if we can get some shots on you, Mr. Fuso. Oh, another Fuso there. Yeah, we've got some hits on him. And we'll see if we can get our shots out and over there. Yeah, it's not too bad. Doesn't have great pickup on the uh, acceleration, this. Which is a bit of a shame, but... Uh, there he is. Oh, and they're all going behind that island. Not entirely sure why they would all route that way, but they have. So... I'll try again on that Fuso. That t 22s doing the work over there. Oh, we've got a, uh, a shatter on him there. So I'm going to start sailing over this way. Yeah, we're doing okay. I think that T22 will probably take down that Fuso. Yeah. So what we're waiting for is this guy to pop out from behind this island. So let's go to work on him. See if we can get some fires. We did. That's marvellous. So now we'll just keep pumping that AG in. Hopefully we'll get a fire or two. Ah, uh, there he goes, right. But yeah, I mean, this isn't a bad little boat. This really isn't. 
Yeah, we won a battle there, didn't sink any ships, but 40,000 damage, 110 shell hits. Yeah. Yeah. Five fires, 69,902 credits, 1,786 XP, 363 XP. Middle, middle of the pack. I've had games where I've been at the top, I've had games where I've been at the bottom. But the consistent thing with this ship is the need to keep yourself behind an island. Same with any of the American light cruisers, really. Um, credits and XP. Let's have a look. Take home 41844, that's not too bad. And 1965, great year that was, um, for Commander XP. So that is the Boise. It's also the Julio Iglesias, or whatever its name is. Um, basically exactly the same ship, other than the Julio, I think, gets a smoke uh, similar to the Perth. I think that is the difference. Uh, instead of defensive AA, it gets uh, a smoke. Um, I would recommend the Boise. It's a fun ship. I don't think it's one of those ships that you're going to absolutely wreck facing unless there's you know quite a lot of destroyers or other light cruisers um but it's you know it's a fun light cruiser it is i would recommend it uh, i'd also recommend it if you pick one up and then get the other one for free that's definitely the way to do it i know the other ship has got a dreadful history um, but if there's going to be a Pan American line, then it might be a good place to start training captains. Mm. Even if you have to do it in co-op so nobody hates you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. The old like button loves to tickle. Um, if you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe? Don't forget the little bell. And let me know your thoughts on the Boise and the Julio Iglesias um, down in the uh, comments section. Also, if you've got any thoughts, anything you would like to see, that is a place to let me know. But I think that's quite enough from me for now. So, thank you ever so much for watching, guys. But this is Captain Random signing off. Take care, and I'll see you again in the next one.